Good morning. Welcome to Stories for Twos and Threes right here on the Squiggly Public Library YouTube channel. Tomorrow, Miss Bridget will be here for preschool story time at 9.30. And on Friday, Miss Sage will be right here for PJ story time. So join us. I would like to thank Scholastic Books, Peachtree Publishers, and Hugh Hugin Mifflin Company for their permission to read their books to you this morning. Be sure to like our video and comment and tell us what you're reading and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Alrighty parents, today we're going to be doing our stories for twos and threes that we normally do right here at the library. So you will need a shaker and the ability to sing along. Let's get started. Here we go with I'm very, very tall and very, very small. Are you ready for your stretch? Here we go. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall. Here's the big one. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. Already, very good. Good job, everyone. Already, are you ready to shake your sillies out? I sure am. I'm just gonna reach into my magic, magic basket and get my shaker. Here we go. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, and wiggle my waggles away, let's clap, I'm going to clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, and wiggle my waggles away, let's jump, I'm going to jump, jump, Jump my jiggles out, jump, jump, jump my jiggles out, jump, jump, jump my jiggles out, and wiggle my waggles away. Let's stretch, I'm gonna stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out, and wiggle my waggles away. Let's shake, I'm gonna shake, shake. Shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, and wiggle my waggles away. Very good, everyone. Are you ready to play? Where is Shaker? Already. Everyone have a seat and hide your Shaker. I'm gonna hide mine here. Here we go. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am. Tapping on my elbow, tapping on my elbow. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am, rolling on the floor, rolling on the floor. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am, jumping up and down. Jumping up and down, run away, run away. Yay! Good job, everyone. Are you ready to get the last little bit of your wiggles out? I sure am. All right, everybody. Everybody wiggle your fingers. Oh, wiggle them. I see lots of fingers wiggling out there. Wiggle your toes. Are you wiggling your toes? Did you see those toes? Good. Everyone wiggle your shoulders. Best part, best part, best part. Everyone wiggle your nose, wiggle your nose, wiggle your nose. Now there are no more wiggles left in me and I will sit as still as still can be. Are you ready for a very first book? 
oh, I got a good theme going on today. It's all about animals and barnyards. Our first book is Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Who do you think is on the front of this book? Hmm. Barnyard Banter. <gasps> Friends, in this book, our friend Goose is going to pop up on almost every page. So see if you can spot him. Cows in the pasture, moo, moo, moo. Roosters in the barnyard, cock-a-doodle-doo. Can you guys find Goose? <gasps> Hens in the hen house, cluck, cluck, cluck. <gasps> Do you see Goose anywhere? Pigs in the wallow. Muck, muck, muck. I think I spy him. Oh, but where's Goose? There's Goose. Kittens in the hayloft. Meow, meow, meow. Who else is in the hayloft? Pigeons in the rafters. Coo, coo. By someone else there too. Mice in the grain bin. Grain bin. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, I see someone else in there. Peacocks in the wire pen. Shriek, shriek, shriek. But where's Goose? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Donkeys in the paddock. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh, I see a friend there as well. Crickets on the stone wall. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Oh, I think someone's checking out the crickets. Frogs in the farm pond. Burp, burp, burp. But where's Goose? Hmm. There he is. Are you ready for all these farmyard noises? Here we go. Moo, moo, moo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Muck, muck, muck. Meow, meow. Coo, coo, coo. Shriek, shriek, shriek. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Caw, caw, caw. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Burp, burp, burp. But where's Goose? Oh no, I think I see something right there. <gasps> There's Goose! Honk, honk, honk. There's our friend Goose. Barnyard banter. Alrighty friends, it's time for some songs and some rhymes. I have some new friends for us today. My little mice puppets. Are you guys ready for Hickory Dickory Dock? We haven't done that one in a while. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, the mouse said woo. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, the mouse said wee. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four, the mice said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock. Good job, friends. Alrighty. Are you guys ready for Down by the Station? All right, let's get our choo-choos going. Here we go. Down by the station, early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master pull his little lever. Puff, puff, choo-choo, off we go. Alrighty guys, are you ready for the wheels on the bus? All right, everyone get your buses going. Get your big wheels out. Let's get moving, here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors, the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. 
Open and shut the doors on the bus. Go open and shut all through the town. The driver, the driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. The horn, the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The windows, the windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The babies, the babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go where, 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 all through the town. The mamas, the mamas on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The mamas on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. The daddies, the daddies on the bus say, I love you, I love you. I love you, the daddies on the bus say, I love you all over town. Already, are you ready for our next story, friends? I sure am. It's Stanley the Farmer by William B. I like Stanley, he's a good friend. He's a hard worker too. Oh, Stanley the Farmer. Stanley. He's going to be very busy today on his farm. Do you guys see Stanley here anywhere? Hmm, I wonder where he could be. <gasps> there he is. The first thing to do is to plow the field so Stanley can plant some wheat. He pulls the green plow with his red tractor. There's the green plow and here's the red tractor. Seamus helps Stanley spread the manure. Ooh, it's smelly work. It sure is. Stanley drives the tractor up and down the field while Seamus pours the, se pours, pours the seeds into the hopper. Hmm, look friends, he's gonna put some wheat seeds in the hopper. Now little Woo is helping too. They water the seeds twice a day. That's a lot of water. The wheat is growing quickly, but Stanley is worried that the birds will eat it. Oh, so he puts up a scarecrow. I hope it works, Stanley. Do you think it'll work? I think it'll keep those birds away. Now Stanley's wheat field looks beautiful and Stanley is very pleased. Next, Stanley needs to cut it all down. He uses his big green combine. Wow. And the grain goes into the sacks and the straw comes out the back. It's going into the sacks right there. And then the straw is coming out back there. The blue baler makes the straw into nice, neat bales. All finished. Look at that blue baler. Stanley gives Seamus and little Woo a lift back on his trailer. Thank you, Seamus. Thank you, little Woo. Well, what a busy day. I think he's gonna go to his house. Wonder what he's gonna do. Time for supper, time for a bath. And time for bed. Good night, Stanley. Stanley the farmer. Alrighty friends, are you ready for our last book of the day? Oh, this is one of my favorites, that's for sure. The Three Billy Goats Scrub, retold and illustrated by Paul Galdone. The Three Billy Goats Scrub.
Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley, and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. They sure do look hungry. But on the way up, there was a bridge over a rushing river. And under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. Ooh, he looks a little ugly. The first billy goat gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it is only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, for I'm coming up to gobble you up. Oh, oh, please don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh. Oh, it is only I, the second billy goat gruff. And I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat, billy goat and his voice was not so small. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, for I'm coming up to gobble you up. Oh, oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much, much bigger. <gasps> Very well, then. Be off with you, said the troll. Are you guys ready for the third billy goat? <gasps> then came the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Trip, trap, went the bridge. And the third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned underneath him. He's really big. Who's that tramping over my bridge, roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat, and his voice was as big as the troll. Now I'm coming up to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. I don't know what he thinks going to happen. So up climbed that mean, ugly old troll, and the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horns, and he trampled on him with his hard hooves. <gasps> Wow. And he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. Splash. Then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goats gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They're probably there. So snip, snap, snap. This tale's told out. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Alrighty, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done, so come another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Well, thank you friends for joining me for Stories for Twos and Threes today. And don't forget to check out Preschool Storytime on Thursday with Miss Bridget at 9.30 a.m. and uh, PJ Storytime with Miss Sage at 6 p.m. on Fridays. 
and please remember to read and sing to your uh, loved ones all week. Thank you. Bye-bye.